Hello, good evening and welcome to the Emmanuel Khan Wealth Building YouTube channel where I share content around forex trading, cryptocurrency, how to earn in dollars online and everything that has to do with wealth building ideas and opportunities. So if you like such content, hit on the subscribe button down below then hit on the notification bell icon so that when I upload new videos, you will be notified immediately. In today's video, I want to walk you through the investment strategy in meta x all right the investment strategy as composed by david percy who is the the teacher or instructor we'll call him the teacher in this platform all right so david percy who's the teacher he has is an investment structure that he gave to every member of the meta x community and that is what we stick with and that is what we trade with if you violate that trading uh, uh structure or system or strategy you would if you end up if you end up uh blowing your account it will all be to your disadvantage it will all be on you you will be to blame nobody will be to blame the structure the, the strategy is structured in such a way that it can accommodate up to five rounds of trade in case there are losses per round so you can trade up to the fifth round and still have some part of your capital preserved so that is the more reason why we stick with and adhere to the david percy investment strategy before i dive right into that let me say this as a disclaimer i am not your financial in, uh, advisor i do not uh, compel anybody to sign up either here in meta x or on any platform for that matter that i am promoting or that i am involved with I'll expect you to do your due diligence, to do your findings, your research, and then make your own informed decision. Don't get on board because it is coming from you on a can. No, get on board because you saw it from me, you did your own due diligence, you saw the risk involved, and you decided to take a risk. You decided to give it a shot, to try it out, okay? That is, more, that is a more intelligent approach, all right? Uh, so I will not be responsible or liable for 100% profit made or losses incurred by virtue of you interacting with my content, any of them at all. Okay, so please take note of that. Now that I've said that, let's dive right into the discussion for today. All right, we want to study the investment strategy that we will use. Now, the investment strategy is dependent on your trading capital. Okay, uh, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let me show you... Uh, okay so this is david percy this is david percy who is the uh, uh, teacher that's what we're calling here he's the one who gives signals he's a boss here he's the ogre pata pata the ogre at the top here all right he's a overall boss here he gives the signals at uh 8 p.m to 8 30 so between 8 p.m to 8 30 that's the window we would have taken our trade and it's just once daily that is for the level one users okay for the other vip users there is two trades daily one is 8 pm which is for the general house the the, the uh, vip one okay the level one users generally 8 pm to between 8 and 8 30 then for the v, uh, the vip uh, uh, guys all right they trade twice daily one is 8 pm with the general guys and then one is at 3 a.m in the morning the 3 a.m signal is strictly on ethereum and usdt the Percy comes online every around that period now if you can if you check this out you'll see it this is 2 54 a.m he's already online and then he's dropping the list of those eligible to take this vip signal if you if you're not your name is not here and you take the VIP signal your account might be flagged and you might be ex 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 exited from the group or banned from the group or suspended whatever all right so this look at this look at uh look at what he says here this is the list that i will share more i'll share more today ethereum this is the list that i will share more today ethereum and usdt so these are the guys that trade that uh signal at 3 a.m in the morning now uh, the advantage is that they make more money why level one users just earn only from trading btc uh, uh btc 
USDT, the, the VIP guys earn twice from trading BTC, USDT, and Ethereum, USDT. And it's the same pattern, the same risk management, the same everything. All right. So it's, uh, it's, it's uh, where we all hope to get to the VIP where we have uh, the uh, uh, opportunity to trade two signals daily. Okay. Having said that, so that's David Percy. I wanted to show you the guy. That's David Percy, and he's the one in charge of the signals. Now, having said that, let's go and study the strategy for the strategy for. Now, before I, I I go on, let me say this, please. I will not be making any video on Discord, on Discord app, how to how to create a Discord app, how to get your Discord uh, handle, what, uh, how to invite friends on Discord, how to send friend requests, how to accept friend requests how to use discord platform i will not be doing any video to that effect is the videos videos of, of such is surplus on youtube so i expect you to go to youtube and type how to create this discord account and anything you need to know about discord get it on youtube from any random uh youtuber all right i'm just focusing on this platform so take note of that please uh so once you are done getting the information you need to get about discord send me your send it to me on whatsapp your discord handle so that i can process your addition into the group okay all right so so this is the strategy as set by david percy so uh he uses he uses uh 121 dollars as the minimum capital that is the minimum capital he used to estimate and to create this strategy although we have uh tweaked the strategy to accommodate any any capital at all so even if it's, you see it shortly even if it's uh 30 dollars 40 dollars trading capital that you have we have tweaked the strategy using david's concept to create ads so whenever whatever capital you have once you sign up and join the group you will be taught and shown the structure of your uh trading uh, strategy based on your capital all right, but David Percy he uses one to one dollars as the benchmark, the minimum uh, uh, capital. All right, so what does he do? He says, once a signal is given, we have five rounds of trading. All right, each round is called arrow one. So we have arrow one, arrow two, up till arrow five. All right, so every eight p.m. to eight thirty, once it's time to trade. We are expecting five rounds of trade okay we're expecting that our capital will be shared in such a way that it can accommodate five rounds of trade you don't want to be blown off you don't want your capital to deplete to be lost at just round one you don't want your capital to be lost at round two so that's the reason more reason why you should stick with this investment strategy all right so uh if you have one to one dollars as your trading capital david presses uh, strategy says that for round one you should use one dollar as your one dollar as your trade amount use one dollar as your trade amount if you have one to uh, 121 dollars capital your round one trade meaning as as uh, as soon as it's eight let's call it 8 15 let's assume that uh, by 8 15 p.m david had dropped signals in uh, uh, the discord community once you go on to your of course i've done videos on how to trade the signals okay once you log into your meta app the the because that is the first round signal you want to use only one dollars so in the space provided for amount you type in one there you get it you type in one there and you will make if the signal goes well you will make 91 percent of that one dollars so you are not making 91 percent of your entire trading capital no you're only making 91 percent of the trade amount that you are using not your equity or your overall capital it's the trade amount so if you're using ten dollars to trade you are going to make 91 percent of ten dollars if the trade goes right okay so david percy scalps the market is the scalper that's why he uses 60 seconds alone doesn't use 
two minutes or 30 seconds it uses 60 seconds one minute so it's a one minute if you trade if you know about forex is a is a, a uh, uh an m1 trader you use the m1 chart the m1 time frame one minute 60 seconds so it's a scalper all right so at 60 seconds by the but once 60 seconds elapses we'll get the final result so it might be a loss it might be in profit now if it is a loss he will call another trade which is now round two okay if it's a loss he will call another trade which is now round two then the round two signal will take it for another 60 seconds and then expect the best that it will uh, end up in profit now if it loses he will call another uh signal which is now round three signal all this will happen just in in, the, in an interval maybe two two minutes interval after the first loss okay he will call another signal for round three all right it will take round three if round three fails he will call another one for round four if round four fails he'll call another one for round five if round five fails that will be the end for that day till the next day and at round five if if all the the rounds fails is expected that at round five you would have lost close to 50 percent of your capital so you'll be left with 50 percent to continue trading the next day but the good news is that we had we have hardly hit round four we have hardly gone to, got up to round four before we take profits before we hit profit seldomly have we gone to round four talk less of round five all right but i think in the history of the the, the, the platform they've been about twice or thrice that they've gotten to round five i'm not sure about that figure i'll check that up probably all right so that's the idea so you use one dollar if you're using two one two two uh one two one capital use one dollar for round one now you see what i just what i just analyzed imagine if round one you now use because you are greedy and you see that if you use one dollar for round one you the the profit you'll be making is around 90 cents and you are like no it's too small i want to be making two dollar per per round all right per trade now instead of you to use one dollar for uh your round one you now went and used ten dollar for round one you see that if round one fails by 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 uh, by round two you'll be needing over twenty dollars or more of your capital to be able to trade round two to recoup the loss in round one and still make extra profit now if round two now fails you'll be needing something like fifty dollar plus for you to trade round three and recoup the losses for round one round two and even extra profit so by the time you get to around five, in fact, by the time you get to around three, you might have wiped out your capital entirely because you were not sticking with the investment plan and structure. You get that right? So that's the essence for this. So the person says for round one, use one dollar. Now if uh, uh, round one fails, in round two, use three dollars. That is one dollar, the round one amount times three. So use three dollars. Now if round two fails, use nine dollars. That is three dollars, which was the round two trade amount times three so you use that so if, if you make profit at round at this round three with your nine dollar the profit you make will cover for the losses of the previous two rounds and then extra profit for the current round i hope this is clear guys i hope this is clear all right so if if, the, if, the, if all those rounds fails then in round four the repressive says in round four use 27 dollars which is the capital the trading amount of round three times three so it's just a sequence of threes all right in multiples of threes then if round four fails it says in round three in round five the last round use uh uh, uh times uh three times the previous amount uh, or the previous trade amount for the previous round okay so in summary this is it 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81 equals to your capital. Are you seeing this? Equals to your capital. That's if you add up everything here. Let me clear this up. If you add up the whole amount here, it will equate your 1 to 1 capital. Are you seeing how it's structured? So if you break this rule, if you use the wrong amount for each of the round because you are greedy, man, you, you may run at a loss. In fact, yesterday I'll show you something. Let me show you something before we progress. Yesterday's trade, we had a loss. Where is my app? Yes, this is my app. All right, this is my Meta X app. Now, yesterday's trade, we had a loss in round one. Okay, remember your 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 where is my tool now? Remember your your stuff always has to be on it always has to be on schedule. Alright? 
your app always has to be on schedule don't never put it on now always on schedule and always on 60 seconds all right so 60 seconds so once it was time to trade yesterday i set my app set the whole parameters came here imputed the minute that he gave all right imputed the minute that he gave this is uh let me explain this all right uh today is 19th okay so this here this is where we work with this is where we work with this is where we work with okay these are indicative of me uh, uh uh seconds all right seconds all right so you might put it at 20 you might say 20 seconds or 29 seconds now once he gives that signal like that he always gives the signals like like five or like uh, let me call it like three minutes or two minutes before the trade time that's why we always put it on schedule all right we schedule it ahead of time so note that once the signal drops on on this call the signal is ahead of time so there's little uh, need to rush like really rush although you can you should be fast about it because the, the difference is no more it's just about three minutes two minutes difference all right so you have like two minutes to log into your app uh, and of course i showed you in the, in the video i did on how to trade i always set my app down before signal time okay so what happened yesterday was this it gave a signal and when it was time i took the trade and for round one we hit a loss look that's why you're seeing this minus three here look at it minus three here for round one we hit a low we made a loss in round one so imagine if i had uh, violated the rule and traded with the bigger amount because i was greedy i wanted to make more money that would have put me on 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 on, on a disadvantaged position and before you know it i'll start i'll start uh, getting uh, worried and timid and frightened of losing my capital and that might just mess up the whole plan or mess me up entirely you get it so i stuck with the strategy plan and i wasn't scared at all i did my trade because i knew that we have five rounds and the strategy will accommodate for five rounds you get it okay so, sorry sorry let me let me let me let me recap this now if the whole strategy goes to if the whole strategy goes to if we make losses up to the fifth round huh if we make losses up to the fifth round we would have lost the entire capital not 50 percent all right because if you add up 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81 you will get 121 which is your initial capital so if we keep losing till round 5 that's when we blow our account <laughs> so you lose your capital once the losses get to around five all right you lose the entire capital okay so take note of that that's why we seldomly get to round three uh, uh make losses up to round three it's, it's seldom it's seldom all right so uh like i was saying yesterday like i was saying yesterday we had a loss in round one and uh as soon as we had the loss it wasn't up to two minutes he came on board again on discord and gave another signal which now ended up in profit so with that signal i made seven dollar point 28 cent now that signal covered for the profit i lost here and the profit of this current trade do you understand guys so that's how that's how it works that's how it works so back to what I was trying to show you here. So that's the investment strategy for by David Presley. For example, if you invest one USDT for the first time and the prediction is not correct, you will need three USDT for the second time. If the prediction is not correct for the second time, you will need to buy nine USDT for the third time. There are five stages in total, all multiplied by three. Okay, so that is it. Now these are different. Uh, we have modified it to accommodate any kind of uh, any amount of capital you have although the more the capital the more the profit you can make per round all right so if you have 70 dollars this is the strategy to follow if you have 70 dollars this is the investment strategy to follow all right so for 70 dollars this is what you should do for round one you are using you should use only two dollars for round one and you will make the property you make will be one point one one dollar eighty two cent that's the property you make for round two use four dollars for round three use eight dollars for round four use eighteen dollars for round five use thirty seven dollars 
and if you do that for if you make profit in round five you will end up making one dollars uh, 17 cents you get that right so please take note and if you add up if you add up all these amounts 2 4 8 18 37 it will uh, sum up to 70 dollar capital now if you have 65 dollar capital the same thing so you just check out the amount you're supposed to make you're supposed to use per round arrow one is for round one arrow two for round two arrow three for round three arrow four for round four and and so on and so on if you have 500 dollar capital this is the strategy round one use 11 dollars round two use 26 dollars round three use uh, 59 dollars round four use 182 128 dollars then round five use 276 dollars all right and these are the profit you will make p stands for profit per round okay if you have 230 dollars this is the so i need you to copy this thing out and keep it somewhere depending on your capital so that you always be in the know once it's time to trade you will use the strategy to trade to know what to trade for round one what to trade for round two and, and so on all right so if you have 171 dollars that's the strategy to use if you have 200 dollar account this is it three eight if you have one thousand dollar account that's it one arrow one arrow two arrow three if you have forty dollar account this is it for round one use one dollar for round two use two point two dollar for round three use four point seven dollar for round four use nine point eight dollars for round five use twenty two point three dollars if you have one thousand one hundred seventy dollars this is it and so on guys and so on and so on all right so if the amount you have is not here okay you uh, uh state it in the group so that a customized in the group not don't inbox me for that if you are, if the amount you have is not there state it in the group and the amount you have is not there and state the amount you have so that or uh, better still you can uh, inbox me the amount you have so that a a, a what's it called the strategy will be calculated for you if you still don't get how to calculate it using the using multiples of three all right so with that i've come to the end of today's video and i hope you understood all i have said i'll leave the necessary links in the description of this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit on the subscribe button down below then hit on the notification bell icon so that when i upload new videos you will be notified immediately please i warn again do not take trades until you have master until you have known uh master these uh, strategies based on your capital and know what to use for round one round two and round three round four and round five please and please and please all right know it first of all before you hit on the meta x app to take your trades till i come away again next time stay blessed